What's going on guys? Tis I many Zilla and today we're going to measure brake pads with a brake pad gauge. This is the tool I'm going to focus on in this video. It's very cheap and expensive and very effective and useful. I will leave this in the in the description below. You guys should get this. Honestly, everyone that owns a car should have one of these. I'm going to show you how to use this and how to measure your brakes because that is something very, very important and you should know the condition of your brake pads. First things first, if you want to just get an idea of maybe how much life you have left in your brakes, you can always try looking through your rim kind of getting a little visual of the outside brake pad just knowing the condition of your brake pads will not tell you the whole condition of your brake system this is only one part but I'm going to show you guys how to measure the life of your brake pads specifically the first thing I kind of do is I take the wheel off and see if I can look at both the inner pad and the outer pad on your caliper there's actually a little slot that makes it easy for you to look in there and see the the light Life of your inner brake pad so at this point once you have access to both the inner and outer brake pad you can use this tool this one's made out of metal so it doesn't flex but they have some of these that are plastic and they do flex I like the metal ones just because they're more durable but um, if you can get this in there and measure both the inside and outside you have to measure both brake pads and it's just so that you know that they're wearing evenly and all you're gonna do is very simple. This is your brake pad and this is the material you're measuring. You're not measuring this part. You see this? You're not measuring that. You're measuring this part. This is the brake pad material. You see here, that's all that brake pad material. You just gotta line these up, these tabs, with the material of the brake pad. See this one's too big. This one's a little bit big. And you see just like that, it lines up with eight millimeters and that is in the green, which means it's good. That's just how you measure it with a brake pad gauge and then you get your measurement. So I have some brake pads with me right now that I want to show you guys so you guys can get an idea, sort of example of like how much life each of these have. As you can see right here, right here we got three brake pads and we got our tool. We're going to measure each one so you guys can see the difference between each brake pad and what life they have. So this one right here has a lot of meat still on it. You can see the brake pad life. It still has the numbers on the sides like this has a lot of life left. It has the groove in the middle. If I were to measure this, I would just start off in the green anyways because it has so much life and you can see it doesn't measure at 12. It has less than 12 mil, a uh, little bit less than 10, but it does line up with the 8 mil. So I would say that this is a good brake pad. It lines up in the green. So this one right here in the middle, you can see that there is wear. You can see how it's shown there. This is where the caliper, this is the inside brake pad actually. You can see the caliper uh, where it, it was actually pressing up against. And uh, you can see this one, it's not, it doesn't have too much life, but it's not like it has nothing at all. You can see it's right there. If I were to measure this, it has less than eight mil. Now we're going into the yellow. You know what, it does line up. If I were to go one more down maybe. Yeah, you know, I'd say five mil. This is in the yellow. This is where, you know, you're all right. You have brakes left, you know, you can still keep driving, but you have to be mindful of uh, the next time maybe you get an oil change. You might want to ask your mechanic, hey, can you check my brakes? But this right here is okay. Like this is an okay brake pad. And then you have this one. Now you can already tell the groove is gone in the middle. You see this? This is just to channel out like water and dirt, but it's gone here. It's completely like smooth. You know, it's gonna start losing its uh, gripping properties and you can see there's not really much life left in this. You see it's thin, it's almost down to the backing plate. If I were to measure this one, there's no point in me even going to these. Because if I go down to the lowest in the yellow section, which is four mil, it's still it's still way below that. So this right here actually lines up. I'd say I'd say it's right in between two and three mil. You can see that it's a bit smaller than three, a little bit bigger than uh, two. Regardless, it's in the red, and this brake pad needs to be changed. Pads and rotors together. But uh, that was just an example of how to use this tool. As you can see, it's very easy. You just have to get access to the brake pads if you really can't get this tool into that area 
uh, and measure your brakes. What you can do is you can take off the caliper. So you don't have to take both the bolts out for it to take the caliper off. You just look at the brake line and see where it goes to and take the opposite side out and then you can kind of pivot it up and then you can get access to the brake pads and at, at that point you can kind of get them out and get them in your hand. Now you can look at the inner and outer brake pad and see if maybe there's uneven wear which is very very important because if there is uneven wear you might have a bigger problem like a seized caliper or uh, seized caliper pins but you will only find this out if you measure your brakes. Now if you are very nervous of touching your car and you don't want to take something apart and you're not confident in putting it back together don't do it just don't just look at your brakes and make sure they don't look too low make sure they don't get into the red here as you can see the red there's like barely any thickness to that yeah you see that so if, just make sure your brakes don't look like that you see like that's nothing that's two mil and three mil this is like the the okay level you know the the brakes are all right four to six and you got the good which is the eight mil and plus so eight mil 10 mil and 12 mil if your brakes land in here then they're really good i usually recommend brakes between these two which is four millimeters and that's when i would just say okay your brakes are getting low i would recommend changing them if you don't want to do it now when it gets to three mil right here then you would have to change them but i would just recommend it over here at the four mil state so i hope you guys enjoyed this video that right there was just to measure your brake pads there's a whole system in your brakes that you can check this is just one part of them but at least you guys now know how to use this tool it's very easy i'll leave a link in the description below you can check it out make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video leave a like leave some comments and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one now i want to show you a very special pad all right this one's very special <laughs> you see this one the reason it's so special is because you can't measure this you actually cannot measure this if your brakes look like this and just kill yourself. Subscribe first and then kill yourself. What should the viewers do right now? What should they do? I think you should like and subscribe. He says you have to like and subscribe then. Like and subscribe right fucking now. Do it!